Welcome to the Azure Stack HCI Sandbox, the easiest way to deploy Azure Stack HCI in a virtualized environment for you to learn and play with Storage Spaces Direct, Software Defined Networking, Hyper-V, and all the components of Azure Stack HCI. To get started, simply visit the URL aka.ms slash azstackhci sandbox. Here you will be taken to a GitHub repository. This GitHub repository has all the necessary components to deploy the Azure Stack HCI sandbox, including desired state configurations, scenarios, and more. Simply click the Deploy to Azure button in the README file, and you will be prompted in your Azure portal to sign in. Sign in with an appropriate account, and you will be taken to the ARM template deployment process. In this process, we need to update the parameters that are necessary for the sandbox. Simply click on the edit parameters and then go back to the GitHub repository. Go to the JSON folder and open up Azure Deploy.Parameters.JSON. Select the raw and copy all the contents. Then go back to the template deployment, select all the contents, remove, and repopulate with the contents on your clipboard. Save this, and you will be able to start the deployment. You'll only need to uh, select a few small things. The resource group in which you would like this deployed, the password you would like for the virtual machine, and if you would like to change any of the other parameters, like the automatic shutdown time or any other settings, feel free to do so. Review and create, and then create the virtual machine. This process should take about 15 minutes. Once the deployment is complete, you can then go to your resource group and find your virtual machine. It will be named ASHCI Host 001. Go into that virtual machine, and if it's not already on, go ahead and start that virtual machine. You'll want to note the public IP address of the virtual machine, and then you'll need to RDP that virtual machine. Simply provide the public IP address and then connect. The account will be the dot slash Azure admin and then the password that you provided during the template process. Now you can connect to the virtual machine and you would want to load this up as a full screen. Once you have successfully connected to the virtual machine, you will notice a few things. In the background, Desired State Configuration is going to download the necessary components for the sandbox, including the ISO files, the virtual hard drives, and the deployment scripts themselves. These will be located on the C drive of the virtual machine in the AZHCI Sandbox folder and the AZHCI VHD folder. If you see all of that, you should see a shortcut on your desktop. Simply right-click that shortcut and run with PowerShell. That will begin the process of deploying out the two-node HCI cluster, including the necessary virtual machines to create a domain controller, create the gateway servers, the network controller, and all the SDN components that are necessary. After about a period of two hours, you will come back and you will find a fully functional Azure Stack HCI cluster with Windows Admin Center, Software Defined Networking, Storage Spaces Direct, Hyper-V, all deployed automatically for you. So, go watch a movie, go catch up on a show, come back about two hours later and you'll be able to log in. Once that's done, you'll see the Admin Center RDP shortcut on the desktop. Connect to that, use the account Contoso slash administrator and the password password01 and log in. That will take you into the Admin Center virtual machine. The layout of this lab is completely spelled out in the GitHub repository in the readme.md section. Once you've connected to the machine, 
you will see a host of tools available to you on the desktop of the Admin Center virtual machine. This virtual machine has been populated with all the tools you'll need for the lab scenarios that are located in the GitHub repository. We're going to start by opening Google Chrome and navigating to the Windows Admin Center deployment. So we're going to visit the URL https colon slash slash admincenter.contoso.com. You'll sign in with the same credentials, contoso slash administrator and password 01, and you will then see the Windows Admin Center console. This is running the most up-to-date version of Windows Admin Center automatically. You may have to do some updates, but that's okay. Now we want to manage the cluster, so we're going to click Add and then add a server cluster. The cluster name is AZ Stack Cluster, and this is a software-defined networking cluster. So we're going to click on Manage Software-Defined Networking. We're going to use the URL https colon slash slash nc01.contoso.com. You click on Validate. Admin Center will complain that it is missing the RSAT PowerShell command uh, module for Network Controller. Simply install that and wait for that to complete. The hosts are named azshost1 and 2contosocom and those will automatically be added into Admin Center once we complete this process. Once the RSAT tools are done and installed, the wizard will ask you to revalidate your Network Controller REST URI. Simply validate. That reaches out and confirms the network controller is online and responding. Once that's done, click Add, and you now have added and onboarded your HCI cluster to Windows Admin Center. Now you can begin management and playing around in the sandbox for Azure Stack HCI. You'll find several different scenarios in the GitHub repository under the Scenarios folder, and you can try out things like deploying new virtual machines, running new virtual networks, creating software load balancers, gateways, playing with storage spaces direct, and more. This is a complete sandbox that is free for you to do whatever you would like in your environment. You can connect this to your existing Azure subscription and register the uh, HCI cluster and have fun. Keep in mind that this VM will shut down every night at 10 o'clock UTC time automatically unless you change that setting in your deployment. You can also change that setting at any time. Feel free to provide feedback, record issues in the GitHub repository, and enjoy. Thank you for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.